Question 12 is to solve trigonometric ratios. In fact, over here the angles are given and the trigonometric function is given. This is so simple and direct in calculators. Though they have mentioned it's from the unit circle, here it is question number 12 in the MCQ part. So I'll directly do the shortcut method. It is sine negative 510, close the bracket. Here you go, that is the answer over here. Same way you can do the other problems. Now if you have angle in terms of pi, that's in radians, doesn't matter. All you need to do is instead of pi put 180 degrees. So I'll write it as 3 into 180 divided by 4. You can also change the mode to radian and everything but this is more easier. If you just put pi as 180 it's so simple. That is the answer. You can see all the answers over here. That's the correct one. Please do it by yourselves and then check the answers. Here if you have to solve trigonometric expressions that's also very simple. Write it out as it is and cos 45 minus cos 30. You don't need to solve anything directly. They want the exact value so close the bracket and that is the answer. Here sometimes this changes. See now first is written as a root 2 minus root 3 by 2. That's same. You know this is same. If you do ST you will get the same answer for both. Same thing over here you can do it. It's just multiplication. Please try them out. Rather than the actual method substituting the values you can easily solve it in calculators. Now if it is radians as well no worries. You can directly substitute instead of pi 180 and solve them. Please do them by yourselves over here. And I will do this one, squaring. What about the squaring thing? Use brackets. Let's write sine 45. Now you need to close two brackets because one for the angle and one for the entire function and square it up. And then plus here as well cos 45, close the brackets and now square it up. This is the answer. Now what if you have something like this, instead of the brackets they gave you sine squared 45 plus cos squared 45. These both are same as sine 45 the whole squared plus cos 45 the whole squared. The answer would be the same, it's 1. In the calculator you don't have the option to put sine squared 45. So you need to put a bracket first, then see the bracket, then write the sine 45 and then close it and square it up. This is how you do it in the calculator. Please remember that. Other than that, everything is straightforward. Only when it comes as squared over here, this is very easy as it is put in the calculator. You might get this. If you get this, just remember brackets and squared is outside. And please do solve the other problems straightforward. You can put this directly in the calculator, you will get the answer. That's it for this topic. This is a really easy and straightforward topic. If you have any doubts, please do post them in the comments.